Hey everybody and welcome back to PE Design 10. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we're going to be working on splitting designs and I'm going to show you guys a couple of ways of doing it. Now one is literally splitting the design and the other one is splitting it by color. So let's start with the splitting by design. I'm going to use one of the built-in files that come with PE Design 10. And if you go over here to the right, you have a couple of tabs. So if you don't see what I'm seeing, if you're seeing this, or you're seeing your color chart, or the text part, which is grayed out because obviously we don't have any text on it, go to the import function. Now, this is in the design library, which is the built-in ones. If you wanted to change to something, you know, looking for your own file, you can go to folder and you can set up your own files and see every, everything. Now, also, there's a whole bunch in here. I just stuck with Flora 1. I just thought it was cute. And all you have to do is select it and drag it over and let go. So all I did was select it, drag it, let go, and there it is. And it shows up here in your sewing order and everything's awesome. So if you wanted to split this design, say split this design in half, or even better this way so you can make a uh, you know split monogram you can do that with anything this is how it's done now the first thing you need to do is select it I know this has a bounding box around it but it still isn't selected and I know it's not selected because I don't have anything up here to the left that I want I want more options to work with so watch what happens when you click on it the stitches tab comes up these things all brighten up and we can do some stuff so if you don't have it here on your ribbon go to the stitches and what we want to do is right here don't get it mixed up with split at point that's a whole different thing we are going to split stitches and this is the tool that you want to use so click on it and look at how my mouse cursor has changed it's got a little scissors and a cross so it reminds you of what we're doing so the first thing is i'm going to split it this way just for fun so i'm going to left click where i want it to start and left click again now you have to make a box you see how it's uh, dotted lines there that's telling you it wants more so click and click and you can tell you need one more and then once you're done double click and look what happened look it's split into two pieces and yes you can actually split it now you do have uh, some you know stitches across there but your design is split in half how cool is that so you could split designs and make your own split monograms really easy you will have to do a little bit of housekeeping on this one but cool isn't it and now the only other thing you would do is fix your stitching order and i'll just do that quickly so you don't have so many uh, color changes on that that's how it's done that's how you can split any design in PE Design 10. So let's delete that. So I'm highlighting it and I'm pressing the delete key and we're going to bring this in again and we're going to split it a different way. And this is kind of cool. It confused me for a minute, but then I remembered what I was doing. Now this, even though our stitching order is shown here as three separate parts, it's only one part. It's only one part. So if you wanted to change stuff or move stuff, how do you do it? Because that's just one piece. I kept clicking here. Now it highlights it, but look, it's a red bounding box, or they actually call this when it's moving like this, marching ants. And you can't separate that. It still goes in one piece. So you can select all you want. You can see your red marching ants and it's around all of them and you still can't do it. So what do you do? What do you do? Let's select the whole thing. So we get our stitches tab back up, click on the stitches tab and you go divide by color. Divide divides the data stitch according to the various colors and let's do it. Click on it doesn't look like anything's different. We've got an extra bounding box here. This looks the same, but once you click off, you can see 
now you literally have everything in pieces. So if you only wanted the outline, say for example, all you have to do is select those two and delete it, and you have simply the outline. How cool is that? That is a great way of doing things and using pieces and parts of your own designs. And I think that's really cool. And if you wanted to, you know, change the middle of this, for example, it is a sunflower, so it sh probably should be with fill stitches. You could redigitize the circle and do something completely different. Of course, making sure that, you know, that fits over properly. So that's two ways of splitting up your design splitting it down the middle and splitting it by colors i hope this video helps you guys out i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next video